Oftentimes, we feel so hurt, heartbroken, and tired of the situation we find ourselves in. When we are in a relationship, it could be a relationship between a man and woman, husband and wife, an employee with the employer, or any kind of relationship that you can think of. We feel these negative feelings. We might be pushed to want to let go of the other person. The human mind gets easily frustrated and when you are at this stage, you feel it is over. Ask yourself, is it God's will? I know that in the midst of all the challenges, it would be difficult for you to continue to hold on that person causing you all the mental stress because most times that is when the situation would get worse. Inasmuch as you feel all the hurt, you can wait on God and be sure that He has spoken. God has already given us the ability to endure difficult situations. You just need to tap into that grace. We come across different categories of people as we continue to go on with our daily activities. I believe there is a purpose why God allowed your path to cross. You meet people for different reasons. Yours could be either to learn something or for you to teach the person. Other times, it could be that the person is your destiny helper that God has sent your way. But because some of us are so impatient that we are unable to see that situation to the very end. Many believers have lost their golden opportunities because of a lack of patience, lose important people in their life because they let go easily. For every temptation that comes your way, God has already given you the ability to overcome because He said He cannot give us more than what we can carry. So, before you decide to let a person go, be sure that God has already given the green light for you to do so. The Bible speaking in Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 13 says, Put on therefore as elects of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. As believers, we already know how important the issue of forgiveness is. If God had not forgiven sent His Son Jesus to die for us, we would still be living in bondage. If for all the times that we have been unfaithful to God, He forgives us, why can we not do so? We are ambassadors of Christ here on earth. If God is still saying do not let go of that person, then we should not go against Him. If God had decided to let us go and let us be by ourselves because we could not accept His love, I am sure by now we would all be condemned. So by putting you in that person's life, God wants you to reciprocate to that person the kind of love He gave you. Do not let go of a person if God has not approved of it. The Bible also speaking in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31 says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice. This verse also puts it to us to let go of all the bitterness and anger we feel towards a person. This is a means for the devil to enter into your heart. Be free of all these negative emotions and let God take over your heart. It is only a process. Something good is going to come out of it. That person you are about to let go might be your connection to God's divine purpose for your life. Not letting go also shows your level of maturity in dealing with situations. It helps you to know how mature you are when you are faced with difficult challenges. God can only take you to bigger places when He sees your level of maturity of dealing with people who are difficult. As we continue to walk on the surface of the earth, we are likely to meet people who would be worse than the person who may have offended us in one way or the other. Joseph was about to let go of Mary after he found out she was already pregnant before the wedding. But God intervened because they were right for each other. The Holy Spirit appeared to Joseph in a dream to tell him not to put Mary away because she was conceived by the Holy Spirit. He listened to God's instruction. If Joseph had no relationship whatsoever with God, 
he would not have recognized God speaking to him concerning the situation. That is why we need to have a relationship with God to know when he is speaking to us and directing us to the path he wants us to take. Never let a person go if God has not approved. But what happens most times is that some people let people tell them what to do rather than speak to God. Inasmuch as speaking to somebody when you are going through a difficult time in your relationship is very helpful, we should be careful to discern if it is the voice of God speaking through that person or the devil. We are all different and we interpret words and situations differently. Some people are patient and calm, others just do not have the time or patience to go through difficult situations. They prefer the easy way out. Others live and act on the principles of God. So, before you take your problems to somebody to seek for advice, be sure of the person's stand with God. Some people have left people who are supposed to help them because of the advice they got from a friend over an issue that was not even worth it. Most people are jealous of what you have and you may not know that. The heart of man is desperately wicked and only God can see the deepest of secrets in the heart of a man. God might be saying, do not let go of a person, but because we do not have a connection or fellowship with him, we begin to listen to other people and end up making the wrong choice. Listen to God for yourself. Be sure your decisions are guided by his principles. Inasmuch as we are holding on to a relationship, let us be careful to know when to let go. If your relationship has gotten to a point where you are feeling pressure to work it out or you are feeling your life is no longer safe, then it is time to stop trying, take a break, and let God do the rest. It is possible you may have been trying so hard to work through that relationship that you can no longer differentiate whether it is the voice of God saying, hold on or let go. It is never easy. Just be patient. God is working on that relationship to be what he wants it to be. Whatever is the issue in your relationship, be the bigger person by always forgiving your partner. Do not be too quick to walk out of your relationship. God is still interested in it. He wants the best for you. If God has not given his approval, do not let go. I pray that the grace of God, which passeth all understand, will guide your heart to make decisions that do not go against God's plan for you. If God has not spoken, every other speaker is a noisemaker. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. God will see you through that relationship.